Hello, my name is Shoyo Kawamura and I'm the cataloger for the watch department for Philips. Timepieces are, you know, very sentimental to me. It's something that you can always wear um, and always keep you company. This watch that I'm wearing now is the Richard Mille um, RM67-01. It is one of the slimmest um, Richard Mille models available um, in the market today and it has the very iconic tonneau shaped case. Now, the case is made out of titanium, so it's very light in weight and why I like this watch so much and I wear it literally every day is because I can wear it at any occasion. I can wear it whilst I'm wearing a suit and the watch would fit perfectly under my cuffs or I can wear a t-shirt and still you know look sporty with it. My um, passion for timepieces started at a relatively young age. Um, I still remember the first experience I had. Uh, my father took my brother and I to um, his friend's boutique and there we bought what was to be our first wristwatch and it was a Tag Heuer Formula One model boy sized with a rubber strap. My passion for timepieces developed um, further when I was age 16. Um, unfortunately from what I have acquired since my first experience was lost due to a robbery and I had to rebuild my collection and I decided to focus my collection on Patek Philippe. For me the most important watch would probably be my stainless steel Patek Philippe reference 130 which is a vintage chronograph from the early 30s. Now I first discovered this wristwatch um, from John Goldberger's book Patek Philippe Steel Watches and I found this piece in his book and I decided to go for a hunt. Um, the hunt lasted for a year until one popped up in auction. That was my first vintage piece and um, that piece really started my vintage collecting journey. It was from my father. Uh, he told me that it would never lose value. I got to you know, admire the intricate craftsmanship of the manufacturer and from then on I I'm also a fan of their traditional aesthetics. My dream watch would be a Patek Philippe Perpetual Calendar Chronograph by the reference 2499 and the first series because the 2499 is one of the most important references ever produced by Patek Philippe. It is an element that combines both traditional and a modern watchmaking um, perspective. It's also one of the most beautiful looking watches ever produced in my humble opinion. For me, I've always thought that auction houses are a great place to learn about your passion, especially for collectibles. Um, you know, my father always wanted us to learn the value of things and not to take things for granted. I think most would tend to agree that, um, you know, models from the blue chip manufacturers um, especially steel sports models are extremely high on demand uh, with a long waiting list um, you know growing on a daily basis uh, from the boutiques last season in spring uh, when we held the thematic auction in collaboration for the first time with the asian curator which was blackbird and the theme was sports now at that sale we achieved a 100% sold sale um, and that was the first in Asian watch auction history. Okay, well I see um, tremendous value in five digit referenced Rolexes um, you know ranging from the mid 80s all the way to the late 90s. These models are tremendously undervalued uh, in my humble opinion uh, and what's important is that collectors are still able to find them in um, very new condition uh, in the market and still accompanied by the full set of accessories with a affordable price range in compared to what is in production today. 